April 1st, 2013. Here's my review for the host. So it's the same writer from the novelist who wrote the Twilight series, Stephanie Myers. I guess, you know, it's a no-brainer to give her a movie, that another book that she, she wrote that, that was moderately successful. The thing with the host is, like, it's all about love and... Uh, in some aliens or people taking over each other's bodies and of course there's a love triangle maybe there's like a love box because there's like there's like two kinds of sets of like love triangles so she's even taken to another level with the Twilight series where there's a love triangle this is even more deeper but I the only question I have for this movie is I'm watching it and I'm like I don't care I'm sorry I don't I don't care I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything about this movie at all but I'm wondering, like, it's it's directed for female fangirls, I guess. So the fanboy kind of comic book, kind of like a supernatural kind of zombie kind of world. But it's it's for females. Like, it's not a male-driven film. Like, I'm going to review the other movie, G.I. Joe. That's a male testosterone film. But the host is doing a male kind of supernatural type of movie that, that, that you know, the guys are living in their basement, whatever, like that love. But it's it's carried for the female audience, and I don't think that it it translates. And but I think that I understand that because the Twilight movies, which is vampire, sexy vampire males, if for some reason it translate, it basically females love that kind of stuff. But this is the type of movie that is strictly for men, but it's made for women, and therefore. I don't think it's, it can be successful. I think it's a total failure on all fronts because I'm sitting there as a male. I do not care about this movie. And I can't see many girls wanting to rush to see this movie like they did the Twilight series. That's my review.